Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Interstellar Rift. Yes, today we are um, doing something special. Um, I have designed a very special ship, and I want to show it to you here. So let's go to the terminal. By the way, we are um, in the Black Pit. This is the, the base uh, of the drifters, the pirates and smugglers. So here is the ship. It's the Millennium Falcon. So this ship, um, yes, it's inspired by the famous uh, Millennium Falcon of Star Wars. And um, yeah the idea uh, that i had was to first i started designing the ship and then i said well um let's make um like a playthrough with uh, the drifters and the dr drifters are um uh, a faction that um you should uh, play with uh, if you are already an experienced player you um you cannot buy any ship you have to build your own ship and so i thought well i could play the role of a smuggler like han solo in um a smuggling ship by the way for you, those of you who don't know the star wars lore originally the millennium falcon is a um, shunter ship yep you heard that right it has this um like clamps here uh, and with those clamps it will um, it will shunt big uh, cargo containers and it's classified as a light freighter okay so um, from the exterior you can see that it it has like well this is the best I could do so um, the game is uh, limited uh, in the like the the scale of things like um it's um it's a very big scale so each each one of the blocks is four meters um wide and but i i think i could capture some of the characteristics characteristic features like the clamps in the front the cockpit in the side like this um antenna here the weapons are also made um, the following um, the like the original uh, idea well I think it has only one like um, this um, here we have an auto cannon and the top ones are lasers but these weapons are um, they are not um, all the time um, visible like this uh, they are like they will um, go inside the ship and they will be deployed when you activate the weapons. I will show you later. And this is, in fact, the way that um, in the Millennium Falcon um, it has a gun here that works in that way. And then we have like these uh, two characteristic um, escape pods. Although in, in some versions I um, saw that they were meant to be also like docking ports of some sort. So I don't know if this is totally accurate, but at least it, it gives uh, the, the ship um, some characteristic um, um, what's called uh, feature or the way it looks. And I placed a um, salvager device here and this um, yeah this dumping device uh, or eject cargo eject device here and it has also the the typical um, quad uh, gun turrets so it has one at the bottom and one at the top um, I ha I made them face backwards because I have these guns pointing forwards and currently in the game you cannot have these turrets go 360 degrees so this will just take um, this rear like 70 or 90 degrees um, 
maybe more um, but not more than 180 degrees from the rear side so um, yes I prefer to have them pointing backwards okay so let's um, also display what's uh, inside how I distributed the uh, the space and I will I want to show you um, what was the the model I took so this is the the model um, this is the original like uh, the blueprint I I took um, for the as a as a base uh, for the for the design and you can see here that um, it has um, at the rear there's the, the cargo area um, at the center it has some power um, things like power devices and also the the gum pit so where you access the, the turrets and to the side you can see that there's um, uh, the main corridor and uh, also you have like this area where they used to hang out uh, in the in the movie so um, this is uh, also done in the in, in my model by the there is like this um, uh, living area and to the side I placed um, a um, this part here would this is a engineering right this is the living area so um, here they would um, play um, hollow chest and th that kind of stuff. Here you have the, the cockpit and the corridor leading to the main corridor. Okay. And in the back, the, the cargo area. And in the center, I uh, play some power units like um, hydrogen generator and batteries and stuff like that. And here um, at the top and at the bottom we have the the gun the the quad gun turrets and here to the side there's like this service um, corridor so and to the front sides like there is the there are these maintenance um, corridors uh, where I place some ammo loaders so let's build this let's build it i have uh, now the the resources uh, to to build the to build a millennium falcon so let's build it and um so there we are let's build that and well, the, uh, as I was saying, the, the idea was to play as a drifter, so I'm sort of a smuggler, right? I usually don't play as, as, as a drifter. I, it is uh, uh, one of the few times or of my first times playing as a, as a smuggler. I made a test before and yeah i got my ship destroyed already <laughs> so this was um i had contraband and the security drones just they just went after me so um i was not expecting that they came after me um, in the drifter station but uh, it seems like they are also security drones here and if you have any um, illegal stuff they will come after you so just to let you know but um it's interesting because i ha i have never um played as a as a drifter be before and what i'm currently doing is that i am um i'm producing the the, the fuel i need so if you start as a drifter then um, you spawn here in the black pit and the black pit has uh, two extractors and two refineries so you have uh, at least uh, what um, what is needed to 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 make your ship 
but without any further ado let's um let's board the ship ah by the way i need oxygen i don't have oxygen so let's let's place some um uh fuel in the in the cargo in the tank in the fuel tank and i need some um i need some oxygen as well so let's let's wait until this finishes i will make 3000 units of oxygen this we can place um, also in the cargo teleporter because we will need this fuel for um, later I have a, a small the Millennium Falcon has a small um, tank fuel tank so it's good to to have with us some extra fuel so we don't run out of, of fuel and what else do we need yes we need to buy some stuff and that stuff is uh, some ammo right there's some ammo that we need to buy now we have to go downstairs we need to buy yes some ammo and also nanobots for the armor generator right and yes this is the the scene i i left this uh, scene from the from the movie but i will show you um I will show you uh, where that scene is in the ship. Uh, where is it? Okay, let's go to the to the tube first. This is the ship editor? I get lost. Um, I get lost. Is it beyond the ship editor? I don't remember. Uh, we need to go to the tube and in the tube there is this um, what's it called there are these um, there are these uh, trading uh, here no this life support dude I'm lost in this uh, station where is the tube did we saw it already no we haven't seen it. This is da data, <laughs> data analysis. Ah, here is the tube. Damn, it's uh, it's so it's amazing this thing. Okay, and the, the tube is like um, it's like an asteroid. Okay, here we have to buy um, some ammo. So let's buy just uh, a fair amount. Just uh, what we need. Ah, uh, yes, and we need uh, nanobots. Let's buy 600. It's enough. Okay, now we can uh, also what I like to do. Maybe I don't have enough. Let's try to insure the ship. Uh, I think I don't have enough funds, but we can get a loan. Get a loan. This is too too little money. And then we can insure the ship.
Yes, so that means that if, if our ship is destroyed, then um, we can get it back. They will give us a new version, a new copy of the of the ship. Um, yes, it's just that, of course, if it's uh, if you have stuff in the ship, uh, you won't get back. And if also if you um, did some upgrades, you won't get it back. Okay, so here we are. Like we spawn um, in the main corridor, right? And this is uh, this um, was the image I was showing um, earlier. This correspond to this part of the film, right? Like um, this is the the this is the the place where they um, have some hatches in the floor that will um, they will uh, put the contraband there. And then there is this room, ah, oh, it, it's uh, the, the name, I have to change it, it says room 7, but in fact, this is the, 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 this is a corridor that leads to the, um, to the escape pod. Oh, by the way, this is on, I have to turn it off, because this uh, consumes a lot of energy. Um, but this other part uh, corresponds to um, the ramp. Um, if you remember, the, uh, there's a ramp to the side of the Millennium Falcon that will lower and then you can access the ship from that ramp and you will access it like this way. So the floor here would be a ramp and then you access the ship this way. So this is uh, this is uh, that part. Um, yeah, maybe this is not uh, the best um, the best um, picture for this part i think there's another one where they are escaping from the death star and they are boarding the 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 the, the millennium falcon when when um when uh, obi-wan is fighting darth vader maybe that would be a, a better a better image okay but anyway um if you continue here this is uh, to the living room and this is where they used to hang out okay ah but by the way i think the next image i have here is from the cockpit so let's show you first the cockpit and then we go to the living room uh, this is the the the, t the characteristic um corridor to the side and here's the cockpit and if you remember from the movie this um this cockpit is very cramped so um here um the cockpit would be like uh these two um chairs wide and behind it it will have another two chairs and then right away you would have the corridor going here but instead of that cramped area we have a really <laughs> big area here where you can um, look at the landscape <laughs> i should say or the spacecape <laughs> should i say and yeah and here we have like this um, uh, weapon cpu and an engineering um, terminal so it's very um, it's um it's a very, it's a wide area not like in the movie that it was so crammed right remember oh, um the side of all, uh, each of these blocks is four meters so this is uh, big and this is the 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 place where they used to hang out like um they had this uh, hollow um hollow chess for example and here they will practice i have a um, a small um, galley here as well like the kitchen and we have some bunk um, bunk beds here for the for the guests and for the crew I would say not guests but the crew or crew and guests depending but four I think four is just about the 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 crew that it could take wait a second ah here this is the this is this area here right where they used to oh my oxygen is low and if you see in this picture in the in the background oh i am already dying 
Okay. If you see in this picture the um, in the background, there is like um, a corridor, and this corridor is this one. Is to this service corridor here. And in this service corridor, there is also a um, skate pod. And here I have, beside the skate pod, I have some um, batteries and uh, power power um, how is it called power boxes. And I have to uh, I should turn off the because this skate pod will eat my energy so where is the skate pod i think is the default group and let's look for the skate pod where is it Uh, da -da, small sensor array door item locker salvage unit disposal board um, no I don't see it here uh, where could it be it's not like in the default well I could look for it yeah I will look for it by room it's room 7 right and then there is this power let's turn it off yeah there we go we can control everything from here i don't know in which power group it was placed but anyways um yeah currently power let's check also the power okay so the other image i want to show you is uh this cargo wait this is where the the the, the power is um this is where the power is um is generated i have six generators in total and a bunch of batteries here like um eight batteries and that's it so and all and also this other um power um boxes and as i said in a previous episode uh, the system i use uh, for my ships is this uh, power group system um where all the the power crumb comes from a single source so i have everything uh, all the power that is generated with uh, belongs to the power group and all other groups take from that one and here's the gun well so the gun well is uh, where you um, access the the quad um, guns and here we are in the quad guns and as you can see um, yeah the, the it's a limited um, view and here i have a, an image of the uh, that was the previous one here this image is uh, from the from the film where han solo is uh, manning one of these turrets so the semblance is uh, clear right <laughs> so um yeah this is uh Oh, sorry about that. This is the the. This is the best I could do. I think. Um, I think with a with a limited um, uh, building blocks and with a, with the size, well, I think it's a, a good. Um, a good model but also uh, something very important for me is that uh, the the ship is a um, functioning ship it's not just the looks right so we are going also for the let's load the the the, the ammo in the weapons it's not just that it looks good it's like it's a functional 
It's a functional ship, right? So here is engineering. Ah, I didn't bring with me. I should have brought some uh, copper and, and uh, iron. We will bring that soon. Also, we need the repair tool. And here I'm loading the armor generator with nanobots. And here we have a little um, reference uh, to the original ship. It, it is built by the Corellian Engineering Corporation and the model is the YT-1300 light freighter. This is the like the the model of the ship. Uh, Millennium Falcon is like the the Christian uh, name that I, I don't right now I don't remember who gave who gave this ship this name and I think before it had another name. Well, they say it, it's bad luck, right? To rename ships. <laughs> but yes, so maybe that's true because they keep getting in trouble. And uh, probably so are we. So yeah, let's let's uh, finish. Um, buying what we need. I think I didn't show you cargo, but I will. I will do that. We will have uh, an opportunity to show. To show a uh, cargo. So this is um, this is the drifters um, counter, and here um, we can see what's our standing with the faction. Currently, our reputation is 100, and we need to get to 1,000 reputation in order to get the rift generator cartridge T1, so we can travel to tier one systems and if you try to purchase a, a ship here there is no ship you can purchase because we are with the drifters and um, I can show you well first let's buy the we need the repair gun because otherwise we will not be able to repair anything Let's buy um ah, okay, yes, only one yeah. and um what else? I could buy one of those, so we can take um health. And here you will buy the t tier 1 um, cartridge to generate a rift for tier 1 systems. Um, but currently there's um, there's nothing of the sort. We can buy a plasma pistol if we want to like resemble more the, the smuggler type. And also a plasma cartridge. Well, these things I usually don't buy. Really, in this game, um, <laughs> at least uh, until now, I I have little use for these weapons. But since we are smugglers, uh, who knows? Um, okay, so. I don't know, have we uh, more fuel here? Yes, that's a good idea because I want to get rid of all the water that we could have. And let's process that. And I don't know if in the other mining area we have something left, yes. So let's also get rid of that. Here it's empty, but okay. Let's get rid of that as well. And um, in the meanwhile, I want to um, show you the, where we take missions. So here we, here is like the mission roster here. There are a lot of uh, things to do. 
Um, let's see. I want to also show you the the mail I got from the drifter. It says, "Looks like you found this godforsaken outpost." She doesn't look like much, but she's got it where it counts. I don't know if you get the reference there, but this is what Han Solo said to um, Luke and Obi Wan when he was boasting about the the Millennium Falcon. So <laughs> that's a good reference there. If you you're planning on leaving this heap of junk, you do best to start using our mining equipment. We did that already, but you've got. A head start. We've had some scraps lying around. You can find them in your vault. Now get out there, out here. Okay, so uh, we can see um, some missions here. Um, these ones that are termed illegal. Uh, these are mainly missions to destroy um, uh, satellites, uh, construction satellites of the other factions. So it says something like, hey, a partner, Joy Ray here. Ah, found a station which is likely not in use anymore. Its, own probably, its owner probably won't miss it when it's gone. It would be great if you could, you know, Hop over and turn it into some nice, valuable, and untraceable junk. You know what I'm saying. So, if you accept this mission, uh, the mission is about destroying um, uh, construction satellites. But I think I won't go that way because the problem with that is that when we destroyed, uh, currently this system is not developed and it's full of these uh, construction satellites and when you destroy them then you don't have access to the services they offer and, and the services they offer even if you belong to a certain faction you can use the, the other factions um, services and also I would um, yes and this will also um, uh, bring bad reputation with the others so let's see if we can just um, take missions that will um, increase our reputation with uh, with the drifters but it won't get us in trouble with the others one of the stations in this system is under threat of some aliens okay let's accept this one because it, it gives a lot of um, some uh, reputation just to test it and unsightly gaggle of skrills roaming the black pit okay also this could be good let's accept these two missions for now and yes we need to have um Resource, I think we have everything. We're not missing anything, hopefully. Okay, so let's go there and do um, some fighting. And let's, let's see how it goes. I have a bad feeling about this. I don't know why. So, okay. Ah, but wait, I forgot the fuel. We cannot live with the, without the fuel. I was distracted right there. Yeah, we, we left the things not to the tube. <laughs> the famous tube, I was looking so hard to find it. But we have all this, we cannot leave all this fuel lying here. So, um, yeah, and we, where's the rest of it? In the other. It's taking me some time to get used to this um, station. I'm not used to this station. Okay, so there we go. 
We can just teleport or cargo. And I will show you the cargo area. Let's teleport out. To the cargo section. And, um, well, that's basically it. We can go now. Looking for trouble. So, um, I think this game um, would be like to... Yeah, maybe the way I, I would like to, to, to play like a drifter is like I'm some sort of uh, independent um, contractor that would take like these uh, freelance um, missions. You can al also take missions from other factions. Uh, you are not like um, limited to one faction uh, but I thought that um, I wouldn't take the missions uh, like destroying the other um, satellite stations I I mean it's uh, for me it uh, doesn't make quite sense why would you do that I mean, yes, you gain reputation with uh, with uh, with the drifters, and you get some payment. So this is the cargo area, as you can see. Here is the the salvage unit, and in the other side is the disposal unit, and here's our tank, hydrogen tank. And it's like hungry already. Um, yeah, uh, you get some reward and stuff, but I think the reward is not is not worth it because you you um, lose uh, reputation with the other factions, and then you destroy the 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 like the the uh, satellite the construction satellites that will um, otherwise be used to create these stations that at some point of the game you will use right so i don't i don't see much sense in that okay so um yes i think let's load this because you need to load it um so you can repair stuff with that and let's um i think i, I need power in the in the navigation So I will transfer some uh, generators to navigation, so they the the batteries will charge faster. So this is uh, like a way to um, reroute the um, the power in the in the game. Um, it's a bit cumbersome because you you need like these um, these uh, terminals. And in these terminals, you um, are only swapping uh, things from one group to another, and you don't have like. Um, I would like that it it could be like FTL that y you have like um, this um, source, this source power um, group that you can just um, route power to the different um, other groups in one single UI. So basically, the UI is like the the one in um, in FTL, but I don't know if they would um, implement such a, a feature. Um, there has been already uh, discussions about these uh, power groups. Some some of uh, of the players don't use it uh, at all. Okay, but I I can. Uh, when I, when I, uh, as long as I um, make these playthroughs, I, I show how I use them. 
Okay, so what are we missing? I think we have everything, right? Uh, it's always good to have extra... Extra uh, repair ammo. Okay, so let's... I think we have enough fuel. So let's see. Ah, one thing I wanted to show you. It's... Um, so here's the ship. Let's make sure that this works as intended. Because this was... A change I did uh, recently so you see where the the weapons are right the weapons are um, like we have like these weapons um, hatch where the weapons should come out and if I press H There they are, you see that they come out. So I think um, this is like the, the, the way um, it works in the Millennium Falcon. And then they are retracted. They're deployed and retracted. I think that that's the way that they are um, intended in the in the game. In the in the film, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And uh, where is it? defenses is a hundred percent okay so we have the shield ah by the way i should um turn off the shield generator while it's not being used because it's also draws a lot of power and i think that's it so where are these uh, skrills let's look at the mission Well, I, th I think one is very close by. Let's um, head towards this one, right? No, this is Escavarian. Defense, okay, and this one. No, they are all... Both of them are relatively far. So one in is, is, is in Escavarian 6. Ah, uh, it could be... Oops, it could be that I accepted a mission that is not... Escavarian 6, I think it's another system. But it's... Or, or is it here? I don't know. Strange. It, this place uh, it has it being here. Okay. Scavarian six. Ah, uh, maybe that there's nothing in that in that um pla in that planet. So there's no station there. If I target it. Okay, no, I think we can get there. And the other one is this other one. It's just that it's not displaying the station list. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I think we have enough power to go there. So there are only uh, two of the Skrills. This shouldn't be a, a, a problem to take down these um, creatures. Oh, wait. Was there a Skrill? Um, 
alert. I had like these skrills. Ah, yes. Let's activate the... But I think these are not from the mission, so... I don't know. I'm not sure. So one of them is down. Let's go for the other. That's another one. Another one. There's so many here. And there's still one more. So there, we took... We took care of um, all of them. But I think now I'm really low on ammo because there were so many. Probably we will have to um, return and so this is the 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 what they uh, drop what they leave behind all this is debris and this we can um, we can just um, salvage let's salvage it with uh, with a salvage unit and what these krills have is this um, nitro nitros um, oxide with it you can uh, craft um, ammo also they drop this uh, alien meat and with it you can craft uh, food Like this food um, cartridge that you saw before. Okay, so... I think that's everything. I thought there was more, but... No. Okay, so... Yeah, not, not much. So, for example, if I feed the alien meat to the to the to the printer, then we have this food cartridge, and I can just um, create it. So now it's it's making this food cartridge stuff. So let's go back and because I think the the, the ammo I'm low on ammo probably. Yeah, I imagine that 400. I need more, more ammo. Let's go to the... Let's go back to the station.
Oh, look at that, more skrills. These were, I think these were the ones that I th saw before. So let's... Um I think I'm out of ammo, right? I know. That's one. One thing that I can do is to power the, the shields, the defenses, let's uh, buff them up so we don't uh, run out of shields while we are taking care of the others. Where is this? Yes. Oh, my shields are low right now. That's another one. Where's the others? I hope the shields um, hold. The other thing is the ammo. Of skrills. Oh, okay. We ran out of ammo. Where is it? I'm completely out of ammo. This cannot be. Well, it, it seems like that. Let's see. No, I has I have still some um, lasers. Yeah, there we go. So I think we have to kill them with lasers. I think I'm. Am I low on energy, probably? I think that the weapons are... Let's see if I can give... Small junior power transfer... These are the defenses. Let's go to the weapons. We need more energy in the weapon system, I think. Or... No, the parcels are okay. No, they have energy. Uh, let's see. He's almost down. There we go. So now we can return to the black pit. Oh, but we didn't take... Let's try to take some salvage, right? There's a lot. Let's see if we can take more... Uh, nitrous oxide. Yes, there's some here. Not much though. We haven't been um, very lucky with this nitrous oxide. Okay, so... Um, it seems
It seems that yes, they are not. They are not having so much um, nit nitrous oxide. Yeah, and and the problem is that as as times goes on, the the the, the debris is just um, dispersing, and it's not really very efficient to go. Um, to go uh, hunting for each little piece of uh, thing they drop so the best is like if you destroy one like to go um, fast to to where all the debris is floating uh, concentrated like in in a, in a volume and take as much as you can the problem when, when, when fighting several of them is that you have to... Uh, you have to fight the others and until you don't kill each and every one of them then you're taking hits. By the way, talking about that, I will disable the shields. We're close enough. And I think we can return uh, the power. From the defense group at least. I oh, know this default. Uh, where was it? Defense is here. Yes, and also navigation is 100%. So we don't need any more the generators there. So let's return them so we can have more power for the other devices. And what I want to do is just buy. By the way, I don't I don't need so much of this meat. You can get a lot of it. Oh, but let's go to the tube right away. Anyways, in the tube there's there's the vault. Okay, and yeah, let's um buy more so our ship didn't take much damage did it uh, ah that's everything there is right there's not whoops okay there's not much of it. That's not good. Hmm. That's not very good. Maybe ah uh, maybe they Yeah the, the drifter counter in the drifter counter I can find more luckily. It's just that they don't have um they don't have laser they only have they only have this standard ammo that's a problem okay so we can crawl across system uh, okay all these missions are f um fighting missions So let's return to the Millennium Falcon and start uh, earning money because until now we have killed all these um, squirrels for free. Almost. I think we still get some reward, but yes, and this is empty now.
this one is it's not empty but it's depleted and here we have our little food cartridge sometimes you can sell it if you are in need of uh, some money and you don't have anything else to sell you can sell those uh, food cartridges in certain yeah faction counters okay i think that's it for now probably we will need um fuel maybe Yes, and that's it. Okay, let's go for the others. Okay, I don't know what do you think of the ship. Um, if you have seen other episodes, the um, yeah, it's not here. Uh, the um, for example, comparing to the mole hauler, uh, the hauler, uh, one advantage it has, well, the first thing, it, it has two contain uh, cargo containers that um, these cargo containers are, they take a lot <coughs> of cargo, I don't remember now how much. But I think it's like 200 crates or more. I don't know. Like two, 200. I think. And the other thing is that um, the mole hauler has um, this cargo. Cargo teleporter. That it's very handy when you're completing these hauling missions. Um, this is classified well the millennium falcon is classified as a light freighter so i wouldn't since it's basically a sh shunting ship i wouldn't expect it to have like a lot of cargo area in the ship also it's a, it's portrayed as a very fast uh, ship this is not so, that fast this is like it's a uh, an average it has a it's it's um, speed is average it's, it's not like a um, especially fast ship i think i think it, it it cannot go beyond 200 meters per second But if you are like making these um, uh, smuggling missions, then it's it's okay. It's uh, you don't need uh, if you are making a lot of money with uh, a little cargo. Oops, there is this. There are, there are the grounds. I'm not that far away. So let's activate the shields and the weapons already so it's an it's not a bad ship um maybe one thing that it's not like a needed is uh this um Scape pods. It has two scape pods, one at, at each side, and they are there basically because uh, it's resembling the original uh, design. But to be honest, um, I rarely use uh, scape pods in the game. Usually, if uh, my ship is very um, very damaged I will go down with the ship so who's 
Who's the closest one? That is the closest one. So that's the first one to go down. Where are the others? Are there? Okay, that was everything it seems. Okay, we received a reward. But it seems that this is... This is having more... Debris. Let's see what, what we can salvage. Okay, but that's our first mission. Oh, yes, it has uh, some... Um, and they gave me so much um, steel. And, well, the, the good thing is that we received... Um, we received ammo as well, so that's a very good thing. And a lot of steel. Well, we could use this steel to um, build a, a station, right? For one of the events. One of these events. Um, what is it called? Yeah. It's a system event. Okay, but that's uh, nice to have. Uh, where is I uh, here? Okay, and one thing that you have to remember is to always... Um, we have to always load the... By the way, how's the armor? Well, our armor is 100%. Uh, we didn't take damage. Um, we have to keep this ammo loaded because if you are in the middle of the fight and you run out of ammo then if, if you were playing with a friend and he's uh, taking care he can take care of the of the ammo right like all the ammo is loaded but when you're like me playing alone um, if you're in the middle of the, of the fight and you have to um, like leave your post, uh, leave the cockpit to um, load your your weapons, that's not uh, very good. Okay, I don't know why. Like did I take that? Okay, and how are we with the fuel? No, the fuel is great. Let's um, go for the other mission. I think we we should get rid of um, repair. Sometimes in the mission they give uh, small things to you, so you should, whenever you are completing a mission, you should have. Um, your inventory as empty as possible because you will receive stuff when you complete missions and then if you don't have enough um, area I think you won't get as much as you could so um, yes let's go for the other I think the other mission
We have to search for them. When, um, what happened there is that since I was close to the planet, I cannot go faster. When you're close to planets, then the gravity well will prevent you from reaching higher um, warp speeds. So you have to um, be careful because uh, every time you try to jump, uh, you consume some energy. I think it doesn't go beyond warp 4 or so. They're not so far away. Let's see. There. Now we are aiming at the... At the grunts. The grunts are like the soldiers... Of um, an ant colony. They, they behave uh, in a similar way. So we should There we are. We're close enough. Well, that was it. That's the end of this mission. And we receive nanobots, that's also good. Because you always need nanobots uh, to repair your your um, armor, of course. Let's um, leave this somewhere. And harvest. Yes. That's quite a, a lot of things there. Now the problem the problem we have with this um, nitros oxide is that we cannot um, craft uh, ammo with it because w we need an assembler. So in the black pit there's no assembler. And as far as I know the system is not developed enough yet to have an assembler. It's basically the same uh, situation we had in, if you remember, in our last uh, episode. So, yeah, we cannot... Um, we cannot craft it, right? We cannot craft the... The, the, the ammo, even though we have the materials to do it. So that's why uh, the system events are important because the system events uh, in the system events you um, you have these um, uh, station satellites like this um, 
station construction satellites that will that will um, if you give the, the resources to them that they need they will build a, a station and this is also why I don't like um, uh, being a drifter to be destroying these uh, satellites be because um, for example Horals will have a production um, a production station or the other factions as well they, they can have a production station and there you will find um, <coughs> there you will find uh, an assembler that you can use uh, to, to craft stuff so let's uh, reload the things here the the weapons and but I think this is we have completed this uh, mission as well so I think that I will leave it here for the current episode um, you got an idea well until now it has been all fighting um, you can make this um, illegal stuff um, as well this um, destroying station satellites uh, you will get rewards as well and you get you will gain reputation so for example with the missions we have done so far or uh, reputation with the drifters have um, increased uh, to 275 if you remember from the from the beginning we had only 100 um, reputation with the drifters and uh, here you can see that we are we have this um, uh, message uh, congratulating us for the for the completion and uh, yeah that's that's it i would uh, to going forward what i would do is that i would um, try to complete this event so we can have like more more stations so they are for the uh, drifters there is this um, event to build a drifter scrap trader right uh, bring resources uh, to a station construction satellite please uh, know that a cargo teleporter is required use it to teleport the required resources to the drop box aboard the station okay and you see here that it's uh, a cargo teleporter is required for this so I currently don't have one also there there is one for hurls and you all also need this cargo teleporter so the the Millennium Falcon is not the best for um, those things and if you look here at the station list Ah well, there there is the like all, uh, all the, the the stations that have like this um, symbol, like these waves. They they are they, there's a station construction satellite there, and there's a, a system event there. So um, yeah, that's the. And then there is this Hydropex Rift Hub. With the Rift Hub, you can let's you can go there. Um, the Rift Hub um, is the place where you can you can open a rift because this this ship is not able to open a rift. A rift is is uh, some sort of uh, uh wormhole if you will 
that lets you travel to other systems, like other star systems. So they, there, there are like two ways to travel in, in interstellar rift. One is with this um, um, hyperspace, like you are um, flying in hyperspace. I think mm, basically as the Millennium Falcon did in the in the film, but then there is this other um, way to do it with uh, opening this like um, wormhole. And then you can travel to other systems and the other systems they have like um, depending on the tier um, they have other like um, type of aliens that are harder to beat also um, they have other resources each system has its, its own um, like uh, distribution of uh, resource abundance and I think this is uh, procedurally uh, generated. Yeah, so... Yeah, w um, the pr uh, one way to progress in the game is to uh, travel to higher tier um, systems, get a higher tier materials and with that you can then um, build higher tier ships that would be uh, a way to do that okay I over now yeah, we are very close let's see what this uh, rift hub has Oh, it's Krill. It seems that they are following me out. That was the first one. That's the second one, and there's a third one here. It seems to be far away. It seems that it's... Um, it's running away or something. Sometimes it happens that they they won't confront you. Wow, this one has a lot. more So the thing to progress here would be to yeah have a ship that has um, has a cargo teleporter because currently um, with, with with only the black pit it's um, the 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 amount of missions that you get from the black pit is limited. And, and there's a lot of these um, mi missions to to have like this um, destruction of uh, stations.
Okay, and that's... That was it. I'm placing the... Well, look at this. We, we have... Um, more than half of a of a cargo pad full of um, full of nitrous oxide. Okay, and here we have more. Um, I think with all this crap. In principle, we could have some station built. We have to see how much... How much do we need for that? But I have a lot of steel. And I'm running out of space, in fact. Wow, I'm running out of space. How many do we have here? Yes. Okay, I have to leave it here. So already I'm running out of space. A lot of alien food <laughs> as well. Okay, where is the station? There. Okay, that's close enough. You have to be less than 500 meters of a station to be able to teleport there. Um, yeah, I think I don't need anything else. Okay, so this is the Hydropex uh, station. Uh, it uh, here you can repair uh, this is the rift hub yes so here is the 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 rift uh, generator so as you can see we cannot go to another system yet i think maybe that one vectron because it's tier zero we could go to vectron Vectron 6. Well, this is a, a good thing because um, in Ve Vectron 6, then uh, we have like this industrial complex from Hurls, and there, um, well, that, that has just mining facility. I don't know if there are production stations there. And there's another tier 0 system here. We could also travel to uh, this other tier 0 to this. Um, very um, centauris and what you have to do is you have to place like um, for example if we want to go to Vectron 6 then um, we have to select or ship like the Millennium Falcon usually I put like double the mass so because this uh, the thing with the rift is that when you generate the, the rift, um, it's uh, losing mass all the time. So it's like losing power and the mass that it can uh, teleport is, um, is being reduced all the time. So it's safe when you put it like twice of the ship mass. So the amount of um, Santium is displayed here. We need uh, 376 uh, Santium. And this amount of Santium depends on the mass. So, yeah, and here, ah, uh, you see, you, we could take uh, missions from here. Um, basically, 
All of them are search and destroy and the other one is supplies need for expansion. Uh, they need Santium. Okay. The problem with this is that they will... Um, they don't provide you with these things, right? Or it's not like you are hauling things from one place to another. You have to obtain those things. It's like more of um, mining. Uh, well, this one is it's iron. So you, it's possible to complete such a, a mission uh, going to the black pit and mining. Or, or with with what we have until now. Well, we don't have so much. We still would have to to mine. But this one we could com complete. I think six thousand steel. Yeah. So. Okay, guys. So basically, I will leave it here. So, uh, that's it. For this uh, episode I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope also uh, to see you in the next one so this is cyber settler signing off <laughs>